Good day viewers, you are welcome. How do you solve these equations? We have f of x equals 1 plus integral from 0 to x f of t dt. And we are interested to get f of x. How do you solve this problem? Let's share the answer in the comment box. And I will be solving this in a very simple and uh, easy way. Let's get into solution. So the first step we are going to take when we have a kind of problem like this is we differentiate both sides. And how do we know that? So it's very easy because when we take the integral of this, uh, the derivative of this integral, it gives us only f of x after we have substituted the limits. So therefore, differentiating this side, it gives us f prime of x equals, when we differentiate the constant values, that gives us zero. Plus, differentiating this integral completely, we are going to have f of x. So therefore, we have this as f, m, f prime of x equals f of x. But we have to find the value of f of x here. And how do we solve this? It's very simple. So this is just like ODE. That is ordinary differential equations. And suppose I let only f uh, f prime of x here to be equals the y the x for easy solving and I let f of x f of x here to be equals y so therefore we are going to have the y divided by the x equals y then let's cross multiply by cross multiplying we have the y equals y the x and dividing both sides by y we have y cancelled y and here we have the y divided by y equals the x and the next step here let's introduce integral to both sides so here when we integrate 1 divided by y the y so equals integral of the x so integral of 1 divided by y this gives us ln y equals integrating the x we're going to have x plus a constant of integration and the next step we have we have ln y equals x plus c we have to get y the only way we can cancel this ln is by introducing exponential to both sides. So here we have exponential of ln y equals exponential of x plus c. By looking at this, suppose we have a raised to the power m plus n. So this is the same thing as a raised to the power m multiplied by a raised to the power n. Like the basic rule of exponent. So exponential and ln cancelled, we have y equals exponential x multiplied by exponential c. But the whole of this exponential x and c are constant. So by letting exponential c equals c, capital letter c, then we have y equals c exponential of x. But we have to know the value of x and how can we do this? It's very simple. Let's recall back from the original equations. Or before that, we let f of x to be equals y. Then let's replace it here. We are going to have f of x equals c multiplied by exponential of x. This is the value for f of x. And then we have to get the value of c. How do we get that? It's very simple. So when we recall from the original equation f of x equals 1 plus the integral from 0 to x then f of t dt so assuming that i change this f of t to f of x and i change f of x to c exponential x all the way we are going to have f of x equals 1 plus integral from 0 to x we have c exponential of t then the t and by integrating this we have one plus integrating the whole of this taking c out 
then we have exponential t they're taking the integral of 8 we still are going to have exponential t over the range from 0 to x and by replacing this by substituting the upper and the lower limit we are going to have 1 plus c then e raised to power x minus e raised to power of 0. So this equals 1 plus c e raised to power of x minus e raised to power 0 that gives us 1. And everything here equals f of x. But shouldn't forget that f of x itself is given as c exponential x equals 1 plus opening this c multiplied by exponential x that is c exponential x minus c times 1 that is c and then we have so then we have c exponential of x equals 1 plus c exponential x minus c subtracting c exponential x from both sides we have c exponential x minus c exponential x equals 1 minus c. So this cancelled and we only have c here equals 1. So if c equals to 1, then we call it again from where we have f of x equals c exponential of x. If c equals to 1 now, definitely f of x will be equals to exponential x. And this is the solution to this integral equations. How do you solve this problem? Let's hear it in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop playing. Bye-bye.